Hi, it's Danny here, and in this video, I want to take a look at ChatGPT and what a great tool it potentially can be for teachers. I'm going to show you what it is, um, how, as a teacher, you can use it to save valuable time when planning your lessons and writing assessments. At the basic level, it's a chatbot where you type questions in and it generates answers for you. But those answers are more than just one line, one word answers. It can generate huge chunks of text. If you ask it to write an essay for you, you give it an essay title, it'll write that essay for you. So here's some examples of how it works. So first of all, you need to go to the ChatGPT website. I'll put the address down the bottom here. And when you do that, you'll need to log in and then you'll see the ChatGPT page. Now, it seems to be experiencing a lot of heavy load at the moment. It's incredibly popular um, with lots of users. So you may not always get in for the first time. You may have to wait a little bit. Just keep refreshing the page and eventually you'll get into it. If you've got an account, your previous chats will appear down the side here and at the bottom of the screen you'll see a little chat box and you can type your question in there. So let's type in something like Can you explain to a teacher how ChatGPT can help them save time on their planning and I'll hit enter. It'll think for a bit and then ChatGPT will produce an answer for you. As you can see, ChatGPT can assist teachers in saving time on their planning and providing quick and accurate responses to a variety of tasks, such as creating lesson plans, generating homework, and so on. So there's lots of ways it can be used, and I'll give you a couple of examples. I've kind of sped things up by going through a chat I've, I've kind of prepared earlier, so I won't go through where it's actually writing this in real time. But I first asked it to look at um, GCC syllabus, AQA, biology, um, and could it generate five questions and provide the answers um, on the topic of inheritance variation evolution. Chat GPT sat there for a minute and then generated the question and an answer, a question and an answer. Five nice questions there about um, natural selection, genetic variation and so on. I then asked it to create three exam questions for Year 11 AQA GCSE on homeostasis and response. It generates three questions there. It tells me the marks. So I explain the concept of homeostasis exam, etc. I then asked it, just said, can you create a mark scheme for the above exam questions? So then what it did is generate a mark scheme for the questions above, what the marks are for each part of the question. So question one for eight marks, three marks for doing this, three marks for doing this, two marks for doing this. Uh, I then asked it um, to do a little bit more detailed planning. I wanted to get an outline of a scheme of work. So I've said, uh, plan a scheme of work for year seven pupils on the topic of skeletal and muscular systems. The topic should last six weeks, one lesson a week, and include examples of practical work. Uh, so it generated me week one, the lesson objective, possible lesson activities, and a possible homework. Week two, week three, week four, week five, and week six assessment. Because six week medium term plan there. So I then said, right, I want a 10 question multiple choice quiz for that above scheme of work. I've then got um, a 10 question multiple choice quiz, and then the correct answers are here as well. Obviously, with all of this, the big caveat is check it, make sure this is suitable for your class. Don't just take this copy and paste and send it out. You are going to need to, to, to do a bit of editing on this, but it could save you a lot of time, especially things like thinking of questions and thinking of um, multi choice quizzes and, and so on. Because I always find that really hard to come up with nice quiz questions and nice questions. Often, the thinking of the questions is the hard bit. You end up doing the same things over and over again. So, it sometimes will let you think a little bit differently and give you things maybe you hadn't thought of doing. So, very easy to go through and generate some quiz questions. Um, and, and such like. I then actually asked it to write me an essay. So I'm looking to get a, an essay based on a particular title. So I've said, please can you write an essay for A-level biology based on the title, the importance of responses to changes in the internal and external environment of an organism. Chat GPT then sat there and generated quite a nice essay. And then I asked it to create a marking rubric for the essay title. So it then gave me a marking rubric for that. So what's the marks? 30 marks, 20 marks for this, 20 marks for that, 10 marks for that. So it, again, you can then use that to, to mark the essays. Being aware that this tool is out there and available, there's a very good chance your students will be using this tool or could be using this tool to write essays. So you need to have that in mind. And there are um, tools becoming available that will look at essays the students have done. I think things like Turnitin is going to start to look for the fingerprints of AI within some of the essays. So do have, do bear that in mind. Students can be using this as well. Uh, I then asked it just to go through and look at primary um, science. I'm just trying to get sort of common misconceptions. If you're thinking in your planning and you want to know what kind of misconceptions the students might have when they come to your lesson, um, 
again, I asked what the common misconceptions uh, primary age children might have about the movement of the Sun, Earth and Moon. And it's detailed um, seven different misconceptions that possibly children have and that you might need to understand about and work into your planning. So currently ChatGPT is free. That will change down the line. As far as I can understand it, there will be a fee for it. And what that fee will be, I don't know. At the moment, it's obviously still learning. It's in preview. It's being trained by us in pretty much the questions we're putting in for free but thank you for that um so it will be a, a a paid product down the line but the moment is free obviously the microsoft um, involvement it may start to be integrated to things like microsoft office that may still be a free um side of things and also things like bing and, and maybe that as well but for the moment you go straight to chat uh, gpt's website you can ask it questions it'll spit out the answers if you want to use it for your planning then then great there's lots of things it will do I'll do some more videos on this um, soon. I'll find some more examples of how you could use it um, for other aspects of teaching. Um, but for now, go to the ChatGPT website, sign up for a free account and fire in some questions and get it to do some, some work for you and see what it can do. Hopefully it can save you a huge chunk of time. Thank you much for your time. I hope you found that useful. Bye-bye.